Hi, good morning. So I'm making this quick video to demonstrate how the ball float liquid level sensor operates. So this is the actual device. So as you can see, we have wires, a nut over there, a washer, a rubber washer, a float, and the main body. So uh, we have here the nut to fasten the sensor to the container or whatever it is that we are trying to monitor. We have here the rubber washer to to maintain the to make to make it leak proof okay so we have here the float the float is the one that uh, bobs up and down depending on the water level and the wires the wires provide the contact so basically this is a magnetic switch the the float here the foam contains a magnet inside which triggers the reed switches here on top in the top portion of the device to contact to provide the contact okay so uh, basically you can use this uh, as normally open or no normally closed depending on the position of the sensor so let me demonstrate this now so we have here the sensor connected to it's really basic an LED and a 330 ohm resistor uh, just to provide current limiting for the LED so as you can see the resistor one end of the resistor is connected to positive 5 over here and then the next end the other end is connected to the one, one end of the contact and then the next end of the contact from the switch from the liquid level sensor is connected to the LED and then the negative the cathode of the LED is connected to the ground so basically what the sensor will do is provide a contact to make the LED uh, turn on. So this is the sensor. For example, we have here, it's installed as uh, normally, this is normally uh, open. So the initial position is open. So as, so as the water level rises, so the, the float will uh, start to go up. So when it reaches a certain level, the LED starts to light because the contacts already closed so if I bring this down so the LED will turn off because the contacts open so this is normally open so you can also install this as, nor as normally closed so you just turn it upside down like that as you can see the, the LED is open already yeah it's on already so as the water level starts to rise and then the float starts to go up so the contacts open so at this position this the sensor is normally closed so this is normally open so the sensor can uh, can handle 220 volts but it can only deliver uh, it can only carry up to 1 amp so it you can directly drive large motors using this so to do that you need a relay and then you connect the coils of the relay the energized coils of the relay to this sensor and as you can see this this uh, this can handle 1 amp right so uh, it's written here that this sensor can handle up to uh, this relay can handle up to I don't know if you can see it but it, it says 10 amps there so effectively using this sensor and one relay you can uh, you can increase the current that the the device can handle so basically that's how the water level sensor operates